right guys, time to make another video. I uh, just recently saw this news of this uh, new uh, mini console coming out, I think in March of next year, this Taito um, art, little arcade uh, machine. Um, very similar to the uh, Sega Astro City Mini, which I, which I, which I love actually at the minute. Um, I actually got the little bottom, the little bottom section of the um, Sega Astro City Mini. I got it from uh, Amazon Japan. But I'm um, looking at this, the e e Dress 2, I believe. It looks really good. It's got some unique features like this, the screen that can turn around there. That's really useful for like shooters. You can change aspect ratio for the, for the games involved. Also comes with those unique um, joysticks, like the trackball there and the um, spinner, I think. Oh, that's really unique, but um, I was looking at it so like, they do seem kind of pricey, but I may I may jump on this as well. Like I do I do love these little machines, and um, they may as well like the Sega Astro City Mini. They may do a, a bottom half so that you can attach it to it and it look like like a full a full a full arcade machine. Um, so that's really good. The games look really good. As well, uh, I think there's Kadash on it. I'll, I'll, I'll go through. I'll go through the games as well. But I wanted to cover some other news here as well, like uh, the, the Sonic Central S Sonic news. Uh, Sega are putting out a Sonic Origins collection. What's really great is it had Sonic Three and Sonic and Knuckles, which I absolutely love. Um, I grew up playing those. Um, played those games. I had a Sega Genesis Mark II. I love those. I, I love those games. I got all the gems. I remember getting all the gems and turning super. Um, years ago, I do apologize. I have a bit of a stuffy nose today, but um, yeah, so I'm excited about that. Like how, having them in one collection would be nice. On the, um, I'm guessing the PlayStation Four, PlayStation Five. I have. A, I don't have a PlayStation Five right now, but I would like to get one. And maybe Switch as well. I don't have a Switch, but. Um, it would be nice to revisit these games. I actually just recently beat Sonic CD um, on the PlayStation 3, and that was a great game. Look, really enjoyed that. Like, that was coming back from um, Sonic Mania. I really enjoyed Sonic Mania, so I wanted to check it out. The music's great, and um, sort of by the same guy, the same team. Like, really impressed with it. Like, the music was fantastic. Stages were great. They're also doing um, merchandise as well to celebrate the, the 30th anniversary of Sonic, like like this statue here. It's really really cool. From like Sonic 2, it's like the, it's like you know the end boss. Like they also have a bit of bling here with the Sonic uh, jewelry. They're really nice. So I wonder, I wonder what prices of them. But this, the Sonic one, I'm gonna sort of iron that one up. And then you have this Dark Horse book, and this looks really cool. Uh, really interested in that. You also do these coins. We'd be more interested in the, in, in the book and the, the necklace is pretty is pretty bling but this is great I, i'm a massive fan of sonic like they also teased a new sonic game for 2022 and um, looks full f like full 3d uh, so i wonder i wonder about about this this is, this is pretty exciting um, yeah, it's just it's just a teaser but um, it's great, great to see, and like obviously they're doing a remaster of Sonic Colors as well. So Sonic Colors Ultimate, so that's really, really exciting. Um, so yeah, it's great, great, great time to be a Sega fan, and great time to be a Sonic fan. Thanks very much for watching, and um, yeah, consider subscribing or liking the video. It definitely helped me out. Like if you want to um, get better at this, but. Um, Thanks very much and I'll catch you in the next one.